first Bellator fight. How does it feel to be here uh, for your fight week? It's been a good week. Now I'm starting to rehydrate again, so now I feel like I'm back to normal. So it feels good. Just gonna enjoy the moment of being here. When I was researching you online, I found some older articles saying that you had been ta in talks with Bellator at one point a couple years ago. It didn't really happen. Uh, you know, what made it be that this was the time that you decided to make the jump? Now I'm older and more experienced. At the time, I was very young, and I got the call at a, I was already at a competition, so I had my focus on other stuff. But now I felt like I'm sure, and I faced some tough guys already, and now I'm ready to make the step. And you're coming over from Ryzen. Are you, are you hoping to still be able to dabble, fight in Japan sometimes? Obviously, there's a lot of cross-promotion that goes on between Bellator and Ryzen. Well, it was always a dream to compete in Japan. And now I've done it. Well, the option is always there if because of Bellator and Rice and Copamone. So it's not still out of the picture. And I notice uh, your signature hair is in here for this fight. Uh, are you thinking about new beginning, new, new start with Bellator? Are you going to switch things up a little bit? Well, it's, uh, it's a lot of taking care of and a lot of wrestling. So it gets a lot of, a lot, how do you say, meshy. Yeah. A lot of shampoo bills. So just to make it grow out again. Nice. So I decided to shave it off. A new organization, new beginning, shaved it off, but it's coming back. Sometimes when fighters come over to Bellator, they, they want to take a couple of easy fights. Not, not easy, but uh, you know, warm-up fights. You get, get acquainted with the promotion, the field. You're coming in, you're, you're stepping right to the big leagues, you're taking on Phil Davis. Was there any thought of maybe taking an easier fight, or were you just, when they offered this, you were, you were for it? I got the offer and I took it. Uh, I have this belief that in order to develop, you need to face tough guys. And Phil Davis is as tough as to come. He's been around the block a couple of times. So it's just great for my experience and my development. And he's a wrestler. He's got a very decorated wrestling background with Penn State. Uh, I'm sure people are thinking that that's part of his game plan with him. He's going to try to take you down. Do you feel comfortable if the fight hits there, that you, that you can hang with him and uh, you know, at least uh, you know, neutralize the, the, the Ground game. I'm confident in my wrestling. Uh, I've wrestled with Division One All American champions before, so and it's mixed martial arts. It's different. So, but I'm confident in my wrestling, and I know I can take him down also. And I noticed looking at your record, the two losses that you have, both of those guys, one of them is in Bellator, the other one is, again, kind of dabbling in, in that in Bellator. Are those Moldovsky and Yuri, are those two guys that maybe you want to get those, those fights back at some point down the line? Of course. I feel uh, the Moldovsky fight, I just choked at the moment, still young, still unexperienced. I know I can beat him. And Giri was just... Uh, was a couple of seconds and uh, in my opinion early referee stoppage of the fight that was winning so definitely I want to get those wins back. And I'm sure for North American audiences this might be the first time that they really get to know you with this fight. Uh, what should they expect to see in the cage when you step in there on, on Saturday? Fireworks. Yes.